Hi, this is Tammy, and where we left off on this October calendar, we were working on the tree here, and uh, we copied the top layer and pasted it on place, in place, and the top layer is uh, basic gray, and let's see, if you go over to your layers palette in the resource palette, you can see your tree might be at the top. I actually moved mine down next to the other one. But um, if you once you paste it in place, you want to go one click up and one click to the right. And uh, it will look like this. And don't forget to put drop shadows on both of those as well in all of these stamps, including the thoughtful overlays. Now, you don't want to put... Uh, uh, drop shadows on everything because this last, you know, remember this paper in the back here is actually a stamp and I didn't want to put a drop shadow on that. So uh, remember that if you select the option here that says uh, apply drop shadows on this whole page, it's going to do everything. So I didn't want to do that. All right, the mummy we're going to keep black and the witch is uh, the last thing that we're going to color and we're going to really uh, blow her up a lot because uh, this is probably the hardest one to color. Um, I used uh, Kiwi Kiss for her hair and I actually just kind of went over because it was just too hard to color her hair uh, initially without getting on the black so I just didn't even worry about it let's do the other side too and then I went back with the black and I fixed it um, it was just easier that way you can see I turned the color to black you, ch you change colors down here by clicking on it and then I'm just gonna slowly go over and put the black where I want back where I wanted it to. You can see I kind of messed up here. Some when I did mine, I had to do it a few times. Sometimes you have to go back and forth between the green and the black until you've got it to where you're happy. <laughs> I'm not doing very well on this video. Uh, and sometimes I just hover over it and do one little click. That helps too. Now, you know, and if you didn't want to do this, you know, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, it's just how much uh, time you want to put on this. For the boots, I came down here to the colors and selected gray. You can see that the color changes right here. Uh, and again, remember that if you want to make your brush smaller, you can really make it small here so you can do detailed little things. I just, you know, for the for the boots, uh, I wasn't too worried and I wanted to color it fast. And it's not too hard to do a straight line there like that. Just color it in. Um, and then I also colored this broom, Peach Parfait, and that was a little harder um, because I just went straight across here. And then I colored the rest in. Let's move this up so you can get the rest of it. And a uh, similar thing for the bottom. That was a little harder. And again, I had to go back and do a little bit of fixing for that to get it to where I was happy. Kind of have to over color it at first and then go back with black with a smaller brush. This is where I really brought it down. You can see that. And you got to remember too that this is going to be so small when you're done that it's not going to make that much of a difference what it looks like. So when you're finished, just hit OK. 
And now we're ready to do our freeform layer. So go over here and click on freeform under the design center. Now the first thing we want to do is add a brush layer. This allows us to have a little space to color in. So when you click that, you're going to get this uh, square. Now you can see that my brush is sitting there ready to start coloring, but I don't want to color yet. So I'm going to click off of it. This is the critical part right here. I'm going to click off of it and it turns gray. At this point, I can click back on and I can resize it, which is what I really want to do. I want to make some little tiny squares to put over all my stamps. I'm just going to make them all the same size and copy and paste them so that I can go through then and color on top of each one. So once I have this sized down, um, I am going to, I've, I've clicked on it, so I'm going to copy, control C, control V, and I'm going to put one over each of the stamps that I want to uh, color. So I'm just going to keep hitting control paste and I'm going to put it over each one. Two more. And another paste. Okay, so just to go over that again to make sure that everybody's clear. We went to freeform, we hit brush layer. Once you hit brush layer, it's all ready to start painting, but we don't want to paint yet. So we click off of it, it turns gray, then we can click on it again, resize it at that point, and that's when you can drag it around. All right, if by chance, when you added that free form, you accidentally started coloring, you're going to get a big old black blob right in the middle of your page. See, like that. So if you do that, just uh, click off of it and you can click back on and delete it. Or if you want to keep it, just hit the, you double click so that uh, this blob appears again and you can hit erase and once it comes up with the eraser tool you can erase your blob, your mistake. Click off of it and you're back to where we started where it's going to turn gray again. It should. Where did it go? <laughs> um, Oh, I see. Because I started painting on it, it, it actually thinks there's something there and it's not showing up as gray anymore. Okay. Anyway, we're going to delete that one because we didn't need it. We're going to now actually go through and use these. Okay. So now that I want to start coloring, I am going to change my view to a canvas zoom of 400. So again, that was view canvas zoom 400. It brings my whole page, you know, magnifies it so that I can see what I'm doing. Now I'm using these little scroll bars over here to go over to my page. And now this is as big as I can see it. I'm going to click on the first one, double click. That clears it up and now I can start painting. Now you can see that my brush, it's actually on eraser mode still, is way too big. First thing I want to do is hit brush and it's too big still. So I'm going to bring it down to a 10. Here's the brush size. And I'm also going to change the color to Daffodil Delight. So it's taking a little while to come up and that's it right there. And then once it comes up, I can actually start coloring. I'm going to just color in all these little windows, being kind of careful not to go outside of the house. 
once I'm done, I'm just cook that in. I'm gonna click off of 